one thing that fascinates me in terms of connecting what I do as, a, as an astronomer now with uh, what the ancient Puebloans were doing here, uh, trying to understand the sky, is that um, they needed to know what the sun uh, was doing on a daily basis, and of course from season to season, to plant, to be able to grow food at timely uh, periods in the year. And they also um, had, of course, a, a very strong uh, tradition in terms of uh, the sun being part of their ceremonies and, and their, um, their beliefs. Um, now the sun is also important to us, and understanding the sun is very critical to us because we live in a technological world. And in that technological world full of satellites and human exploration of space, we need to understand how the sun behaves. And the sun doesn't give us just electromagnetic energy, it also gives us charged particles. And sometimes those particles are highly energetic and they can be, uh, they could potentially be lethal to astronauts in space. So you want to really understand what's going on with the sun so that we can advance uh, our exploration. Coronal mass ejections are this massive um, uh, emanations of material, charged particles from the sun. Uh, it actually happens when there's some kind of a magnetic reconfiguration on the sun that can actually eject material. You might get something like, gosh, 20 billion tons of charged particles hurling toward us at you know, magnificent speeds. When you look at coronal mass ejections, the thing to do is to try and block out the very bright part of the sun. You can do that with an eclipse. And if the Anasazi saw the eclipse, it is possible that they could have seen a coronal mass ejection. That's been recorded in other eclipses, especially during the time in which there was an unusually high magnetic activity or sunspot activity in the, in, in the surface of the sun. So that's, that's possible. It's, of course, speculative. But uh, if you look at that petroglyph, uh, the curlicues around it are um, very um, striking and the corona sometimes looks more streamy. So to see something that looks more like a bubble might indeed look more like a coronal mass ejection.